it just seems like this team needs like a shakeup. I, I gotta believe you're frustrated. Like, what do you say pregame in a game versus a Hawks team where they're struggling? They had the worst record in the NBA, and it just doesn't seem like the guys get up for those games. Yeah, I mean, we've had a history of uh, doing that last season, especially this season, a little bit better. But you know, the last couple of weeks, we've lost some tough games. Uh, we lost to Cleveland on the road and, and Atlanta. It's, I mean, I respect all players, all all teams. That's what you have to do. But you know, we have to we have to make sure that we come out with that same energy throughout the game, and we can't play with sense of urgency when the game is you know going down to the last five minutes. We got to do that from the start. In that first quarter, we gave them we gave them a lot of confidence. You know, we could not one we could not make a shot. Uh, and they, I think they jumped on us like fifteen to three or something. Yeah, ten zero at one time. But we gave them confidence, and it, when you give players confidence, it's tough to turn the water off. And 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 we gave them confidence throughout that night. And I said in that third quarter, we just put kept putting them on the free throw line. Talking to Coach Scott Brooks, head coach of the Wizards, who are now twelve and nineteen. He's presented by Greenberg and Betterman. Visit them at gblawyers.com. All right, let's talk about the trade. First of all, what does Trevor Ariza add to this team that'll make you better? Well, even last night, I mean, he's only been with us for one shoot around, and, and but he gives us he gives us uh, toughness, he gives us consistency, he gives us professionalism, he gives us defensive mentality. We need to we need to at this point we need a better defensive players on the floor. And he does that. He's been a consistent performer for over a decade. And he has the respect from the players from when he played with this group in the past. And he has respect from the, the current players now. He, he just, he brings, he brings it. And we need guys like that. We need a consistent guys. And, and he, and he's, he's been that way for a long time. All right. So coach, you traded away Kelly Oubre. You had him for your three seasons, your entire tenure here. First of all, with Ubre, talk about the development you saw and why you guys ultimately decided to move somebody who had been improving each year, it seemed like. Yeah, I mean, he has. Kelly has improved. He's he worked and he improved into a into a pretty good rotation player. And that's what we we you know we felt that we need sometimes you gotta give something up to to get something what you want. And we needed a guy like Trevor to help us continue to uh to get better this year and then even years to come. It's not like it's not like Trevor's. I mean, he's 32, 33, but he has he has these guys have this. I mean, he has this body and this and this game that he can play four or five more years with the way he shoots the ball and he's consistent. But you know, Kelly has improved, and you know, I wish him nothing but uh, luck. And but you have to sometimes you got to give up um, players to get get the guys that you want. So how did all that go down? Did you know in like the, the 24 to 48 hours leading up to it that this trade, of course, we all know the debacle of how it all sort of fell apart, but then you guys, I guess, rally. You, you make something happen there in the next 12 hours. But so did you know for about 48 hours or so that there was a likelihood that he he was going to be moved, he and Austin? Well, I mean, when you have the record we have, yeah. I, I know there's going to have to be changes. And, and, and you, as coaches, as players, you, you kind of – you know, you expect that. We, we haven't played well. We're not happy with how we've played. And, you know, there's a lot of things that's happened. You know, the, the injury with the white obviously doesn't help because that's something that we needed to shore up over the summer. We, we thought we did with our rebounding. Like last night, we got a, a rebounded again by, I think, 11 or 12. Um, but going into, I mean, the last couple of days before the trade, I mean, I knew there's things and people talk and, and, and you're trying to get your team better and, how it went down. I mean, I don't know all all that. Right. But I just know when trades are when trades go that deep into it, everybody everybody knows which players on their team are the teams are talking about. So they so they knew it wasn't a shock to them. No, no, the players no, they they don't no, the players don't know. I mean, you, I mean, you as a player, you know. I mean, you know. I mean, I played over a decade. I know there's always a chance. Right until the de the trade deadline, you just know, but you don't. But nobody, we don't tell. Hey, we were thinking about trading you. No, you can't do that. Because yeah, of course. Ninety five percent of all trades, or ninety eight percent of all trades, don't happen. Talks yeah, don't happen. Right. So, but how does it actually go down? So I, I was reading like Austin said he got out of the shower and someone told him he was traded, and of course it was on hold and everything. Who's the one that tell? Are you the one that tells him? Does Ernie who tells him that they're traded? 
No, nobody. That was all. That was all speculative rumors. Or like got social media, out. whatever. And, right. Yeah. No one. I mean, I've never what actually happens, and then I always. You, you, I like love to do it in person, but a lot of times you can't. You do it over the phone. You got to you. You wait till it actually happens, and because I've been like, I've been traded at halftime before, and I've been on a team that we traded away um, Robert Ory uh, to to Houston for Sean Elliott, and Sean did not pass his physical, so the trade we had to bring him back, and it was the weirdest thing because we, you know, we said our goodbyes, and then two days later he's back with us, and you know, obviously we went, we won the championship that year, so. I never, you never, or nobody ever tells a player until it actually happens. 